everyone. Welcome back. If you're not new, if you are new, hello and welcome to High Forest Homestead and update numero uno, soon to be my life on the homestead. Update numero dos, kind of rolls in like to all the next updates. Um, See this? See, see this? It's not the any of our usual views, is it? Is that is our it? front no. door? No. This is not our patio. No. This is, this That's is, not our yard. This is not our home. Why? What happened? We are homesteadless. <laughs> Why? That's right. What happened? You remember a while back we talked about being called to go somewhere else. Yeah, that was about a year ago. I'll link that video in the comment or the description box if you're interested. Well, needless to say, we found out where we're supposed to go. But yeah, we're kind of, kind of sold it. Closed on Friday, the 24th of April, 2020. Now what are we going to do? It's the middle of Corona spasm. Oh, I know. 2020. Yeah. Let's just say. We're a. Uh, we we're, we're listed drifting. our yeah, we listed our property for sale mid January when coronavirus oh, was not I heard a bang. Where'd the children go? He'll be back. When coronavirus was not on really anybody's radar. Um we had several open houses and everything started to escalate and then we had an accepted offer. And then we started going through all of the motions of um, getting that offer worked through as far as homesteads go, farms, places in the country. Got that all taken care of. Then the last few weeks was really just kind of nuts um, because we found out that mortgage companies were doing things differently as far as um, employment verifications, different things like that. So anyway, the, with the whole employment verification thing, there were some questionable things surrounding that. Crisis the, averted. Then um, buyer, the, our buyer had a lot of very stressful life situation things happening in that last week. And I, what was it? Our realtor said almost every, every day uh, the buyers wanted to back out. But then the morning would come, they changed their mind. So much so that the night before closing, they did the walkthrough in the evening. 9.15, not, no, 9 p.m., our realtor calls us. They want out. They're going to cancel the deal. Okay. Yeah, so we were pretty much like... Crap. What, what are we doing? Crap. Is this a mistake? Should yep. we just stay? Like, yep. What? What's, what? What? Yeah. Then 10.15 p.m. rolls around, calls me back. Still on. Changed their mind. Okay. Apparently there was a, a love conflict going on. <laughs> the love of the property, but circumstances were there causing... Were just a, a lot, lot of, of uncertainty, yeah. which, you know, I'm sure most of you all are quite familiar with mm -hmm. right now. Especially in the home buying process. Um, but anyway, we closed on Friday the 24th, uh, signed it over to the new owners. They are very excited. Okay. Here's, we walk around the property on the outside for the last time.
So for the interim, since we closed on our property and until we find and close on a new property, we are staying with my dad and stepmother. Stepmom. I'm not going to call her stepmother because then, then, it, then it sounds like a Cinderella with the evil stepmother. She's not. There's not, no evil. No. Evil. no. We are, uh, we are, we know where we want to go though. I don't know if she's we have, I haven't already. gotten to that part yet. We have an, so area, we have an area that we are have identified. We, we're looking to be closer to our church and the homeschooling yep. groups and stuff that we've been working with. So it's been a lot of driving in the last year. So it has yeah. been part of that, helping us decide to make the move. We want to be closer to all those things. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we don't even have a homestead. So nice thing is we got, we got some great family and some people who support us. Mm -hmm. Even when we make decisions that you know maybe they don't even understand or, or agree with, but right. we appreciate that support, and um, it's good to have family and friends that love you. So, that you might have some questions. Um, one, what happened to our chickens? We gifted the chickens to the new owners since we didn't have a property identified a purchase uh, agreement signed or anything on a new property since so much was up in the air with our at the time current and selling that that we didn't want to enter into a contract even contingent on the sale of that home another question that you might have is how are the kids doing and considering the transition and all of, all of that they're doing really well they're excited for us to find and move into a new home. It's definitely rough sometimes. Yeah, the some days it is. transition's hard for them. Yeah. Given, given it all, they're actually doing pretty well. Yeah. Um, I mean, the little ones, as many of you probably know, are very resilient to change. And most of the time, they just kind of wind up asking you questions randomly when they just happen to think about it. But yeah. uh, for the most part, they're just going about their days and mm -hmm. school continue continue as normal and fortunate for me with work I was just able to kind of pick up and, and move to here and uh, keep working away so no impact there which is good and we've been very fortunate I was gonna you know, say another update might be you know, we know many of you are probably suffering yeah. right now or of job losses or and this has nothing to do with any job scenario. This was all pre all of the job yeah, we stuff. We made all these decisions before any of this stuff blew up. Yeah, I kind of mentioned that a little bit. But uh, yeah, so we got kind of caught in the middle of it. But mm -hmm. uh, but we're very fortunate. Uh, job situation looks okay for now, and, and many of many in our area up, right so. now are being very affected by job situations. But. Thankfully, Andy is not. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. We are homesteadless. Homesteadless. But, but we're going to bring you along. We are going to bring you along. We're going to find a on new the, place. On the, yeah. We're going to bring you along on the journey. Probably not like looking at houses or doing any of that per se. But once we have our homestead <clears throat> identified and we've closed on it, we'll do the reveal. We'll do a reveal. And I guarantee wherever we're going is going to need a little TLC like our last place did. So we'll take you along for all of that because we're going to, wherever we go, we're most likely going to need a chicken coop and we're going to need chickens and we're laying chickens and then we'll do a garden and we'll be doing yeah, meat chickens kinda, and I, any other <laughs> animals we're going to have. Kind of got a little overly optimistic and planted like 96 tomato plants and a couple of trays and some other things that they are homesteadless right now as mm -hmm. well. So we're trying to find a place to plant those. In the interim. Um, because even if we found a place yet this week and got the process going, it'd still be end of May, beginning of June at the earliest with how everything's rolling that we would be in there. So for right now, kind of our video schedule to update all of you and through the process and where different things are at, what we're doing. 
we'll just plan on videos on Thursdays. And if any of that changes in the future, we'll let you know um, as far as an upload schedule goes. On Friday when we were there for the last time, picking up the very last few things, <clears throat> uh, Andy and I were there by ourselves and we said goodbye <laughs> to High Forest Homestead. We gave it a little goodbye gratitude and a goodbye blessing, you know? So we'll go ahead and share that now. and we just thank you for checking in <laughs> and just hope that all and pray that you all are doing well um, uh, with everything that's going on yeah we'll see you around guys bye